Hey guys, welcome to Pellets and Pits. Hey, today is all about a smoked Juicy Lucy. It's a cheese stuffed burger. We smoked the bacon. We did a roasted garlic aioli. Here we go. All righty, to get started, we're talking about a smoked Juicy Lucy. We've done a few Juicy Lucy's on the Flat Top King. I haven't done one smoked. I've been craving the idea <coughs> ooh, Sorry. of a smoked burger, okay? Uh, that pepper crust on the outside, just in here in that smoke. I'm like, I don't want to just do a regular burger. Let's up the flavor. Let's stuff it with cheese. We're going to do some uh, bacon on the pellet grill. I'm going to do a smoked garlic aioli. Should be fantastic. Pretty simple. Then we might top it with cheese. I don't know. The point is, I'm loving this dish before I even start. So let's get started. First things first, we got a good old chuck roast, and we found this sirloin on sale. Three bucks for that thing. It's not a bad idea to mix and match. We're going to be able to grind that. But before we grind it, we need to chill it. So let's cut it up in cubes. Let's get it in the freezer, and we can start that bacon. Beautiful marbling. Uh, there's a couple sections here, so it's not going to matter because you are going to be grinding this. I'm keeping all the fat in there. Looking about one to two inch cubes and something like that should be able to get you there. In the freezer it goes for about an hour. All right, before I do the bacon, really quick. So we're using the Lone Star Pellet Grill. Uh, the pellet choice today, no idea. It's a hodgepodge of just about every pellet I've used in the past. When we did that uh, rib competition between the three smokers, we drained all the pellets so I could start over fresh with B&B. So whatever pellets were in those three, um, I had them down. This was dropping down a little bit, so I just added those to there. So today is like a hodgepodge of, you name it, Bear Mountain, B&B, um, Traeger. That might be the last three I've used. So there's a pellet choice today. Don't think it'll matter at all. Bacon on a sheet tray with a little cooling rack. My favorite way to do it. If you haven't done bacon on a pellet smoker, I think you're missing out. It should be its own video. It's so dang good. We have done roasted garlic on this channel quite a few times. Today is all about smoked garlic. The same idea. We're going to put it on the smoker, let the heat about 350 on that smoker, uh, just soften that garlic. But instead of wrapping it in foil, we're going to keep it naked. Add just a little bit of oil, and that's going on the smoker just like that, okay? I'll be able to move it around as much as I need to, but basically the idea is just cook the bacon all the way through and roast that garlic. Meat is out of the freezer where I should have been. It is a scorcher today. Grinder's on and we're just going to create two passes through the meat grinder. Ground beef's done, just running my hands through it, kind of like build up that tackiness on it. Just helps kind of hold it together. We've got a scale here. I'm looking for two four ounce patties. Ooh. Basically, you're gonna make the bottom shell just like this. We got our little um, Weber burger press. If you guys are interested, it's listed below. If not, you can figure it out. I know somebody out there is gonna be smarter than me. It just makes it uniform. I think, we're, especially when you're dealing with Juicy Lucy's, that's important. So just press it down, get that base layer. Okay. I'm gonna get these knocked out, then we'll incorporate the cheese in a second. When the bacon's done to your liking, just go ahead and take that off. Might as well put that garlic right on there so it can cool down too. We've lowered the temp of the grill to about 250. I don't know if I mentioned it making the burgers, but we're selling about four ounces per side. So we're looking about an eight ounce burger. So I'm right I'm done. We're gonna take a slice of cheese, fold them in quarters. Just gonna kind of keep them in that center so it doesn't leak out. I'm a cheesy guy, so let's do two slices. Something like that. And really it's about as easy as it sounds. You put your patty back on it crimp the seams.
reform your patty. And there we go. A stuffed burger. Man, that thing looks good. All right, we got our burgers done. I'm gonna use the same cooling rack that we use for the bacon so we don't have to do a lot of dishes. Smash that burger seasoning, gonna hit it on the top. From there, just a light dusting, a little bit more black pepper. Okay, flip these over, just be gentle. Hit this side with a little all-purpose seasoning we always use. Um, it can be found at the uh, pelletsandpits.com. I guess we could have used uh, shake that. Mm -hmm. yeah, we'll know next time. And then on the bottoms, we're going to hit that little bit of black pepper too. So you're seasoning it heavily because it's a lot of meat, really. It is. A lot of surface area. We're talking about eight ounces. Roll into that seasoning and get the sides. Plus that helps reshape it. Right there on that cooling rack. Using some new thermometers today. I've never used these before. They're Temp Spike Plus by Thermapro. Um, let's see, we're just gonna insert. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Target temp today is about 135. We might pull about 120. Hopefully the cheese doesn't ooze out too much. So we'll just have to play games. If we pull it early, we might sear it off. If not, we might smoke it all the way through. Honestly, I don't know until we get there. Ooh. Burgers are smoking right along. We're gonna make that roasted garlic aioli. So a little mayonnaise. I want it super garlicky, so let's do all three cloves. Just a very small touch of mustard. A couple glugs of olive oil. A little black pepper. A pinch of salt. Come back in with about a quarter of a lemon. Maybe about an eighth of a lemon. And give that a mix and taste it. You can always add if you need to. So you're getting the freshness from the lemon the roasted garlic sweet notes. Jeez. Good. That's good. A little bit more freshness. Taste this right here. Mmm. Mmm. Alrighty, we got some burgers reaching the temp, so this is what we're going to do. Add one more piece of cheese, because you never have enough cheese. Looks like we didn't lose that much cheese, which is a good thing. Right above that burn pot. We're just gonna dry out our buns a little bit. I don't expect them to get toasted. As much as it is, just drying them out a little bit because those burgers should be juicy as can be. That's the goal anyways. Keep that heat in there, we're just gonna lit it, let that cheese melt, and let our buns toast up. Alrighty, our buns are nice and toasted. The cheese is nice and melted. Doming it actually helps, plus it lets it rest. So we got the sauce, the bacon, the onions, the pickles. Basically just how we like to eat it. You do you after this point, okay? So we got that roasted garlic sauce on the bottom. Some thinly sliced pickles. Thinly sliced onions. Take some of that bacon right on top. And there we go. Smoked Juicy Lucy with a roasted garlic aioli. A little bit of smoked bacon, a little bit of extra cheese just in case you didn't get enough. Mmm!
for all the marbles. The funny thing is we took our picture and it looks like a tongue. <laughs> it's even hungry. All right, you ready? Yep. Well, that thing is juicy. Look at all that. It's good. I don't think it's great. I think it's good. I don't know if I put it on the top five Mount Rushmore burgers ever. A smoke burger is definitely unique. You kind of miss that char, but the flavor is just so uniquely different. Take a big old hunk and bite of that. Did you even get any of the cheese in the middle? Well, I don't know if I did or not. Which is kind of mm. good. Oh, good Lord mm. of mercy, huh? I'm not the cheese. <laughs> good Lord of mercy. Mmm. Mmm. You do get a lot of smoke flavor. Here, give me a bite with all that cheese hanging out. I think you just, it's uniquely different. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. I think it's good, not great. If you like a thick burger, I think it's great. I just think we like the smash burger so much is what it is. Mm. I also think of bringing it's it up. It's dripping down my chin. I can also feel think, it. Uh -huh. Oh, God, it's all over you. <laughs> I also think bringing it up to 135, we still had enough room if we wanted to to sear it. Maybe that could develop a little bit more depth of flavor. Yeah, I would have been good seared, yeah. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the smoke, but I'm not getting the beef. Could be the sirloin versus like pure truck, you know, the fat ratio. So the difference is, is like, I'm trying to be hard on it like truthfully so if a great burger is an eight out of ten i think it's a 7.5 like i think it's up there i just don't know if i'd consider it the world's greatest mount rushmore burger it's good for a thick burger all right guys there you go there's a smoked juicy lucy definitely on the bucket list i'm glad i did it i think we can kind of get a little bit better with a smoked burger maybe incorporate some flavor into the meat next time we'll just have to wait and see love playing around and stuff like this one thing's for sure I was absolutely mouth-watering craving a burger, and it definitely satisfies that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the no-case button, share it with your friends. Peace. I mean, don't mind if I do. <laughs> mm.